So this looks at sort of an important application of um, conditional probability. So here we have a home pregnancy test that was given to women and then pregnancy is verified through blood tests. Um, and then this table shows the um, home test result up here and then whether they're actually pregnant or not down here. So we're going to compute two different conditional probabilities. First, the probability that they're not pregnant given that they have a positive test result. So this is, you know, you have a positive test result uh, and then what's the likelihood that you're not actually pregnant. So, so here we're given that we have a positive test result, so we're limiting ourselves to these 75 people, uh, and of them, 5 are not pregnant, uh, and that's about, uh, 6.7%. So there's about a 6.7% chance here, uh, that they're, that this person's not actually pregnant, uh, given that they have a positive test result. Now, let's look at the next one which is the probability of a positive test result given that they're not pregnant. So here's somebody who's, here's all 19 people who are not pregnant and out of them, uh, five of them have a positive test result. Uh, so this is what's called a false positive. This is when somebody who doesn't actually have the condition, um, gets a positive result anyway. So it's an accidental positive result. Uh, and you'll notice that this probability is substantially different. Uh, this is about 26.3%, uh, here. Uh, and it's, it's really interesting to note that these results are quite different. Uh, so even though this test has a 26% false positive rate, that means 26% of the time it, it, uh, will tell somebody who's not pregnant that they're pregnant, um, that that is not the same probability as once you actually have a positive test result, um, whether or not it is, uh, whether or not you're actually pregnant. Now, admittedly, this data is made up, but this basic idea, uh, does hold true, uh, for, for, for test, all, pretty much all tests of disease, uh, and it all depends upon the incidence rate, uh, how likely it is that you actually have either the disease or, in this case, uh, the likelihood of being pregnant.